What's up, guys? I would be doing my intro, but my voice is a little bit messed up right now. We did get new college football 25 information today, but not the information we thought we were getting. We thought the full reveal was coming today. College Football 25 pushed it back to tomorrow. I'm not surprised, guys. I feel like they've been pushing everything back a little by little, but we do have enough information that I can at least kind of talk to you guys about what I see, uh, what's going on, and, and what you guys should be looking at. So College Football 25 official, official release date is July 19th. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can get the game early, uh, and, and so we're going to be talking a little bit about that as well. But again, if you if you do want to pre-order it, here is your uh, chance, here's your opportunity. I don't, I, I guess when I've tried doing it before, it actually hasn't went through. But I am uh, thinking you can find this uh, and, and, and get to this screen and go through with the pre-order uh, just a little bit later. It's probably just new, and so th there's just some slight things going on. But you click pre-order, and here's where you guys can see uh, everything. Okay, let's say Xbox. Here's the base game. So let's talk about the standard edition. You guys can see the new cover on it, okay? I mean, the, 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 the picture we saw before was basically the cover for the deluxe edition. The base cover is this. So again, uh, just something. Uh, and then you guys can see the MVP uh, bundle, the cover for that as well. So all covers are obviously released by now. Now, with the standard edition, Let's talk about the price first. So if you go to the standard edition, if it loads here, it takes a while for it to load. You guys can see here with EA Play, you save as $7. But it is basically $70 after tax might be a little bit more. Now, what you get with it, again, you get an alma mater uh, ultimate team pack, cover all uh, athlete ultimate team pack, uh, a road to glory uh, ultimate team uniform, it looks like. And then basically the rest of the entire game. So that's what you know you're getting out of just the base version of the game. You guys can see what you're not getting compared to the deluxe edition is three day early access, and then 4,600 college football points. Now, what does that mean? Well, here's what I would say, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything for sure, for certain, but my prediction on this is that you know you're gonna make up it, it, let's say you are planning on playing a lot of ultimate team and, and spending money stuff like that well you're probably gonna you know make your money back uh j just with that alone now if you don't want to play ultimate team if you really don't care about the three days early access and you can wait maybe the standard edition is the best edition for you guys so that's just something to think about with it again if you don't, aren't really uh super worried about the uh you know you know this specific currency in game or the uh or the three-day early access the standard edition is probably fine now let's talk about the deluxe edition important to note limited time offer by june 27th is you'll get an extra heisman hopeful ultimate team pack now again we'll see what that's like when that does ultimately get released uh but above you guys can see you get the base game three-day early access for me and and i know this is me personally that's worth it by itself, the three-day early access, because that's when the game, in my opinion, is going to be its most hype, its most new, most exciting to play. So I know, again, that's just me personally, but the three-day early access to me is is by itself uh, just so, so, so exciting. You also do get 4,600 college football points. Now, I'm guessing the point system is is going to look similar to like the Madden point system. If, if I had to guess, now I don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, that's kind of where you know what what, what I would guess. And points in Madden, it's uh, there, there's a bunch of different bundles. But basically, you know, for 2,800 points in Madden, you're looking at uh, 25 dollars. So you know, 4,600 points, you're looking at probably I don't know. Uh, it would be right around $40 worth. So you're going to get more, more than your money's worth if you do end up getting the deluxe edition. If you are planning on spending money on the game. That's again, the one thing I do want to tell you guys uh, about. If you're not planning on spending money at the game on the game, then it might be worth it for you guys to just stick with that standard edition. The gameplay coming tomorrow or the, the trailer, I should say, coming tomorrow. Uh, so we will see more. And if you are planning on getting this, I'd get it by June 27th. Because whatever this Heisman Hopeful Ultimate Team Choice Pack is, 
uh, especially if you play ultimate team probably is going to help you guys out especially as you're trying to build your squad from the ground up to start the game so again i i don't think either you know of these things are bad for what they are it's just a matter of are you really care do you really care about getting the game three days early and do you care about ultimate team because i mean that's really what the 4600 college football points is i mean i guess maybe in road to glory you'll have to uh, upgrade and that might take college football points as well i'm not entirely sure but that's something to keep an eye on as well so it might be worth it you know for either mode you play but uh but the way i look at it the three days early access that's that's really what gets me then there is this mvp bundle now i phrase it like this specifically if you know for a fact that you want College Football 25 and Madden 25, I would 110% buy the MVP bundle. I would. Now, for me personally, I haven't gotten Madden in the last couple of years. Am I going to get it this year? I don't know. Okay, I'm I, I, I'm, I'm kind of in that in-between stage where I'm not quite sure if I am going to get it or not. But here's what you know. Okay. In the MVP bundle, there's no even limited time offer. You automatically get the Heisman Hopeful Pack. You get 4,600 points. You get EA Sports College Football 25 Deluxe Edition. Okay, but that's, that. whatever. What does that mean? The Deluxe Edition? Oh, that's this? This says the base game? I'm confused. What's the difference between the College Football Deluxe Edition and the base game? I don't know. Early access. You guys uh, can obviously see that as well. You also get a, uh, a Heisman Hope, like I said, uh, home to everything else is the same, honestly, as the Deluxe Edition. Nothing else is really different outside of, again, you get that Heisman Hope pack. Also, in Madden, you get everything else there is. You know what I'm saying? You get everything else that there is to offer from the deluxe version of Madden as well. So again, if you're somebody that historically has played Madden year in, year out, if you are somebody that you know knows for a fact that you are probably going to play Madden, it might be worth your guys' time. Now, I'm not saying you know that, that, that it's for sure or anything like that, but I'm saying it might be worth your time because I click here. You guys can see when it's, it's pulled up. It's $150. So is that a big time deal? Let's talk about it. I mean, yeah, you're spending fifty more dollars, but you're also getting the deluxe version of Madden. And like I said, if you are guaranteed to probably buy Madden anyway, it probably is worth your time because you still get three day early access on NCAA football. You get Madden. You get a lot of the other things uh, to to talk about. So uh, that's probably what I, where I what I'd recommend for you guys. Again, if you are guaranteed to both want college football twenty five and both want Madden, here's the way I look at it: you're basically spending seventy five dollars for both of them. And you're getting them three days early and you're getting the deluxe version of them. For me personally, I don't know if I'm going to play a lot of Madden. I think, you know, specifically I care way more about NCAA football, but maybe I will. You know what? Maybe maybe I'll start playing Madden and do a little bit of both. We'll have to see. Again, I don't really know what the future of, uh, you know, is like for me personally, but... I do think this is probably the most worth it. But that's also what, 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 what EA wants you to do. They want you to just buy this, you know, and, and, and spend a bunch of money up front. Or on the back end, you might not totally have to. So ultimately, guys, what I would what I would personally tell you is do what you guys feel is right for you. You know, don't let me tell you that one is worth it more than the other. Figure out what you personally want. Again, if you are one where you're not going to spend money in game anyways, okay? If you do not want to spend money in game anyways, and you do not care about the three day early access, and you're not for sure that you want Madden either, then just get the, the base version. Again, I know a lot of people out there are probably like, Ty, I just want the base version. That's fine. Go get the base version. I'm just one that if you get the base version and then end up buying college football points, that's where it gets you because you'd already, you know, have saved money. And then if you, you know, have to spend extra money because you don't have these things in Ultimate Team, that's where it really gets you. So for me personally, I'm one. I'd rather spend the money up front and save on the back end. I don't like spending a bunch of money in the game after it's released. So I'd rather spend a bunch of money on the uh, up front. Yes, it's it's expensive, $150, no doubt about it. But then if you get this, you're getting both games three days early. You have a bunch of uh, points already in the game. You get a bunch of other stuff. And so that's where I'm at, you know, when it comes down to it. Like I said, all the covers are released. We will get way more information tomorrow. So I wouldn't order anything until tomorrow. Make sure the game is what you're wanting. But after tomorrow, guys, I mean, feel free to do what you guys want to do. Look, I'm super excited because the initial release date of July 19th, it's like, man, that still seems a long ways away. Now, no, we can get it three days early. I know it sounds kind of crazy, 
but that does super excite me. That is, that, that is super exciting for me. The last thing I do want to mention here is uh, somewhere I saw that if you do, uh, if you have like the EA, whatever it is, the, the EA perks, the EA plus thing, you do get the game. It said like 10 hours early. I, again, I saw that somewhere. I'm not, here it is. If you have EA play and college football 25, 10 hour early access trial. Okay. So again, I, I don't know how that exactly is going to work. But just might be another reason if you do want the game early to get EA Play. That's going to wrap it up for my video. Like I said, I like to spend money early instead of later. But ultimately, if, if you just want the game and want the base version of it, do what you have to do. But again, for 20 extra dollars, probably worth the upgrade. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.